How far would you go to direct your perfect movie or make it the best performance of your life as an actor? The insurmountable lengths to which actors and directors go to get the best out of their work usually takes a toll on them or the people around them. That leaves us to present our list of seven movie scenes so extreme they made actors quit. Number 7. Wayne's World 1992 has been a cult hit to this day ever since it took to the big screen. Mike Myers' portrayal of Wayne is an icon under the banner of Hollywood comedy. But did you know that Mike Myers almost abandoned the role due to an argument in song selection? You heard that right. In the scene where Garth picks up Wayne, they headbang to the famous Queen single, Bohemian Rhapsody. The studio wanted a cheaper alternative and was opting for a Guns N' Roses song, but the plan never came through. Mike Meyer said he would leave the movie if Bohemian Rhapsody isn't included in this scene. If that happened, we would have had to watch Wayne's World without Wayne being played by Mike, a bold move by the lead actor. Number 6. John Cena ventured into acting with his debut on the big screen in The Marine 2006, and then in 2009 with 12 Rounds. Though both movies received below par reviews, it was 12 Rounds that almost saw Cena quit. The pro wrestler has mentioned that he has acrophobia, a fear of heights, and while shooting 12 rounds, he had to shoot a scene where he rappels down the side of a building and then dangles from a rope in midair. He found that scene so stressful that he almost quit the movie entirely. Number 5. Francis Ford Coppola's magnum opus, The Godfather, considered one of Hollywood's most remarkable works, if not the greatest. The film rocketed Al Pacino's career to the stars for his performance as Michael Corleone. Though, while filming, the producers had a hard spot for Al Pacino, as it was very evident that they were against him the whole time, being severely critical of him. The director then stepped in and comforted Al that nothing would happen to his role and told the producers to back off from this matter. Eventually, Coppola's willingness bore fruit when Al Pacino was nominated for Best Actor in a Supporting Role. Number 4. Nowadays, superhero costumes are made as comfortable as possible to make the actor feel like he's not drenching in sweat, or his body anatomy isn't resurfaced inside their costumes. A very similar issue was that one that Michelle Pfeiffer had with her Catwoman costume for the 1992 film Batman Returns. Pfeiffer said that once she was in that costume, she couldn't go on bathroom breaks and that since the outfit was giving her a hard time breathing properly, she fainted quite a few times as well. Then she only wore the costume for a certain period during the shooting of the film. Talk about dedication. Number 3. It is a crime to not mention the name of Rocky under the genre of sports-related cinema. The characters were not only created by Sylvester Stallone, but also kept together by him as well. In Rocky IV, Carl Weathers almost resigned from his role. This was mainly due to the attitude of Dolph Lundgren, who plays the role of Ivan Drago. During the shooting of a fight between Creed and Drago, Lundgren began to throw real punches at Weathers due to boxing's adrenaline rush. Weathers got so stressed out that he left the ring then and there and announced that he was leaving the project. The filming was stalled for four days until Stallone personally went to him and begged him to return and complete filming. Completing his role as Creed in Rocky IV paved the way for future Creed films where Creed's son, Adonis, takes to the ring like his father. Number 2. The alpha of the fantasy genre, Lord of the Rings, is still fresh as ever to this day and always gives us the belief that no task in life is impossible with the right friends combined with courage and hope. But unfortunately, Sir Ian McKellen got on the wrong end of all that when he reprised his role as Gandalf in The Hobbit. Due to advancements in technology and the utilization of green screens, the hobbits were brought to life by technology. Sir Ian was shooting his scenes separately without the others. This made Sir Ian sad and almost got him to leave the film. But then, director Peter Jackson held a Thanks Gandalf Day to appreciate Sir Ian and his character, and his dressing room was full of characters from The Lord of the Rings. This cheered up his mood quite a bit, and he was quickly on board for the rest of the film without any second thoughts. Number 1. 
Stanley Kubrick's horror film The Shining 1980 is considered by many as Jack Nicholson's best performance to date and Stanley's direction too. But the film is often regarded as controversial for a lot of the wrong reasons. Shelley Duvall, who plays Wendy, spent most of the film tired due to all the crying she had to do, and the famous staircase scene at the Overlook Hotel holds the Guinness World Record for the most takes ever, with 127. Kubrick went full throttle here. That's all for today. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Let us know in the comments which movie scene you prefer. See you in the next one.